Hi, uh, today we are going to see the Eclipse 9 link in Java and it is the most important con concept to handle our exception and in Java we have and it is one of the most important concept. So I am going to explain the, what is exception and where we will get an exception and how we need to handle the exception. What are the keywords are available to handle the exception in Java? So I'm going to briefly explain all those things. Just see the work code. Uh, like we can say that we, when we will get an exception. So what is an exception? See, actually an exception is an unwanted or unexpected event. See, we cannot say that we will, when we will get an exception, it is the unwanted, unexpected things. So I think we know the unexpected say suddenly happens. So if anything is suddenly happened, what we need to do? Some some situations we are unable to handle, we are unable to like find the solution for those things. But in, in Java, if the if, if any program executing in the middle of the program, if you get any exception, how we need to handle and what are the keywords to handle in Java. So I am going to explain that. So I am going giving you some first example. What is the exception? See, if you write any like, if you write the statement, uh, this is the statement one. And this is the statement two. Statement three. I'm going to write the three statements. So not three, five statements I'm going to write. This is the statement five. This is the statement four. In the middle of the word statement three, we will get an exception. Some, uh, like we got an exception here. If you get any exception at line number, say state number three, the state number four and the state number five, it will not execute. Uh, and the ex when we get an any exception, it comes uh, like it, uh, what we can say that when we get any exception, the program execution abnormally stopped, and it comes to the flow of execution totally it come out of the program it will not execute the, the both lines statement 4 and statement 5 so in this case what we need to do without using the uh, like exception handling we are unable to handle the exception in java see i think you are uh, you are understanding what i am going to explain if you get any exception here so we are we don't have a chance to run the below these two statements also we are unable to run or we are unable to execute we are unable to find our output what we are going to see the output that's the reason by using the exception handling we are able to handle this exception and we can easily execute the both statements also this is this is called the exception most cases we will use the exception in, in java and in some cases if you are writing any uh, like we can say web-based application so this is our web-based web application just imagine you are going to write one username and you are going to write one password if your write username is null so you are not going giving any username so we will get an exception call here we will get some exception so what we can say that what we can say null null pointer exception we will get it We will get the null point exception so that's the reason if you are not going to provide any if you are not using the exception handling if you get any this kind of exception this kind of exception if you get so for grammar uh, sorry not customer or user they doesn't know what is this called null point exception so by using the exception handling, if you get any of these kind of null point exception, we can easily provide the uh, like user understandable message. So what we need to show the user, so we can say that, like, please, please enter the username. 
so we can easily show the users so they will recognize they will understand the message and they will re-enter the username so easily we can write we can execute our program we can able to develop the application so these areas most of these type of areas we are going to see the exception so if we get any exception how we need to handle so that's why i am going to explain i think you are already aware of it so and i'm going to explain the brief introduction and the exception handling in java is one of the powerful mechanism actually the exception handling is the powerful mechanism to handle the exception at runtime and in the runtime errors are exception at runtime this is called i think just now we covered that this is web application totally is called the runtime only we are not doing we are not providing the values at compile time and we know the compile time as well as the runtime we, when the user is entered the username password that is comes at the runtime figure the runtime the program we we doesn't know who's entered the values 0 1 2 or else null so we cannot expect the user how they will enter the sometimes they will enter the our like special keys dollar hash so we need to show the message to the user at the time we will use the our exception only so i and and i'm going to explain the what is exception actually an exception is an abnormal condition uh, in java exception is an event that disrupt the normal flow of the program so this is our normal flow i think just these, these are the five steps of our normal program the exception is comes here at line number statement number three so once the exception is comes it disturbing the both the four and five statements so we are unable to execute the below statement so when we get an exception so we can using the exception handling like using the five keywords available in java by using the five keywords we are able to handle the exception and we can easily uh, like ext uh, like execute the both lines statement four and statement five this is this is what uh, like we can say exception handling in java so advantages of exception handling what is the advantages so uh, what is the main advantage is the core advantage of exception handling is to maintain the normal flow of the application so we can say that i think this is the only example of our ex uh, exception handling so we can easily maintain the normal flow of the exception just we are writing some keywords by using the java for the five key like keywords i am going to explain the, the five keywords by using the, the five keywords we can execute the normal form, the execution, like top to bottom, we will get the output here, what we are going to expect it. So that's for the main advantage of the exception handling. And what we can say that, like, what are the hierarchy, what is the hierarchy of the exception handling? So I am going to write the, what is the hierarchy of the exception. I think you are understanding the what is the exception, what is the advantage of the exception, when we will get the exception, how we need to handle the exception. So these are the steps. Just understand the exception. So this is the basic idea you are aware of it. So you can easily handle exception. You can easily write the, any number of program, any number of project. You can easily hand, develop the project. So I am going to write the uh, like to hierarchy of the exception so i am going to delete all those things like i am going to write our hierarchy this is the this is the super class for the exception only that is called throwable this is the super class for the all exception in java so what i am going to write Again, I'm going to write here. Here, I'm going to write our exception. Here, here I'm going to write error. These are the two types of exceptions available. See, if we get any 
like I'm going to take the pen. So if you get any exception, this is called runtime exception or checked exception. If you get any exception, you can easily handle the exception and we can execute the normal profile execution. But if you get any errors, till now we are unable to find the solution for the errors. So why we are unable to find the solution for the errors means I am writing the some example with which scenario we will get the error which scenario we will get an exception all I am going to explain this diagram so just understand where we will where we will get an error where we will get an exception so in that I am going to write in that I am going to write our exception style what are the exceptions are available so This is called IO exception. And I am going to write what is the IO exception. I will explain all those things here. So, what is the IO exception? And one more is I am going to write SQL exception. And I am going to write one more example. That is called what I'm going to write here. Just this is called the class not found exception. This is called class not found exception. <coughs> These three are the exceptions are available, and in exception we have a two types of exceptions. These are uh, what we can say. This all comes under this all comes under the checked exception. This all comes under the checked exception. What is the checked exception? What is the uh, like unchecked exception? In Java we have a two types of exceptions. In, in actually I am going to explain all this the exception side. So. In Java, we have a two types of exception. So first, we uh, first we are going to see the checked exception, and later we are going to see the unchecked exception. So I am going to explain that this uh, like checked exception. So these three is comes under the checked exception. These three are comes under the checked exception. What we need to if we get any checked exception, see I am going to write the checked exception. What is the IO exception? So you did not aware of the what is IO exception when you are using the input output ex uh, like input output like we can say file input if you are using any file you are loading the file you are unloading the file so when you are loading the file some location you are giving the some location about the file at a run time if the file is not available we will get an exception I think you understand what I'm going to explain we have a files and we can say we have we are loading the images and we are loading the some number of files we are loading we can say that we are like we can example we can say we are loading some songs from the other website we are uploading the song we are downloading the song if the file is not available you will get an out iowa exception so with if you so these are the checked exception checked exception means it compile time only if checked see we uh, just we uh, just understand so if you get uh, if you are using the file exception if you are using the file exception if, uh, like if you are loading any file the compile time only will get an exception if the runtime the file is not available what you will do so just handle the exception at compile time so that's the reason we are handling the compile time only. These three comes, comes under the compile time exception only. So when we are using the compile time exception, first we need to handle, then only our program compiled. Otherwise, we will get an error. So that's the reason if this is comes under the compile time exception or checked exception. So we will get we will get that if you are using the this type of exception, we need to handle it compile time only. Just understand the flow. So I think you understand the IO exception, and I'm going to uh, see what is the SQL exception. SQL exception means if you are using the ta database table, 
if you are using any database table if you are executing the queries you are inserting the queries to the database this is called database like we are we are interacting with the database we are using the some queries to insert or delete or update anything if you are using at run time in database the table is not found and you provide the table like we, we can say that if the uh, key is not available the key is not available if the file name is not available what you will do so at the time only at the compile time only it's showing at compile time only it's showing so the data in database the table is not available what you will do so just first handle the exception just you first you you will handle the exception you can say that if the table is not found so we will send the message that in database we did not find any table so we will get the message so and we will find our database and we will execute the and we will create the table in database like that we can do the number of uh, process in the database side so the issue is uh, if you are using a SQL exception at compile time only, we need to handle. Otherwise, we will get an exception. So come to the the third third one is class not found exception. <coughs> when you are using the, I think you know the some database connection like connection dot class name connection dot class name or we can say that uh, when you are know <coughs> it mainly we are using the class name and we are loading the classes that is uh, find in the different location see we we have a classes that are available in the different different location if you are loading any class some other location the at one time if the class is not for uh, like when you are using the maven application we will use the, some dependencies we will use some dependencies. You given the dependencies of Maven form dot XML. So we are compiling our four, but the the class is not available at runtime. So what that's the reason. It's compile time only. We need to handle the, this type of exception class not found. We will get a class not found exception. So we need to handle that compile time only. The mostly we are using the JDBC connection. If we are using any JDBC connection, connection dot. We will use the statement dot prepare statement dot. Sometimes we will use this type of statement. So at the time when you are using the these classes, so we will get an exception compile time only. We should we need to handle this type of exception. That's what I am going to explain in the come. This is our, so these are the three comes under the checking exception. Already be aware of it, just uh, aware of it. So what I am going to write unchecked exception here like i am going to write unchecked exception uh, just see what is what are the unchecked exception so i am going to write only one exception call like uh, i am going to write non pointer exception null pointer exception i write the null pointer exception and one more i am going to write one more i am going to write number format exception i am going i write the two classes first one is the number format exception and the second one is the null pointer exception so what we can say these two these two comes under the runtime exception called the un what we can say runtime exception or unchecked exception both are the same only runtime exception and unchecked exception so when you are using both at compile time you will not get any error you will not get any exception for both just the compile time only that our compilation is successfully compiled when you are using the runtime, when you are executing the program, you will get the two, this type of exception. So I will write the one program. You will easily understand where you will get the runtime exception. So this is called the runtime exception. How we need to handle the exception in Java. I will explain the each and everything. 
so and comes comes to this error side what we need to do if we get any error so i am going to write one error example so like this is called error example stack overflow error and like i am going to write See, start overflow error. <coughs> As of now, if you get any start overflow, start overflow error, we don't we don't have a keyword, we don't have a solution. How we need to handle this error? So that's the reason. As of now, the Java developer and the Sun team, they are unable to like write the code and unable to provide the solution for this kind of error. So what I am doing here, we don't have an option. So just re close our application and rerun our application. That's what I am going to tell. And one more, I am going to explain that in error side, out of memory error. Out of memory. If you get the same scenario, if you get an out of memory, the memory is full, the in JVM, the heap memory is full. We are unable to, like some cases, we will increase our heap memory. So almost we already increased our size, whatever the heap size is available in, in JVM, already we increase the size. We, after that, we are unable to do anything. So this is what I'm going to explain. So what I'm going to say, we don't have a solution for this type of error. So we are, we don't have an option, we don't have a solution. So that's what I'm going to explain. But in cases, if you get any of these type of errors or exception, this is, we can easily handle by using the keywords. I'm going to write the, the keywords See, just see the, what are the keywords I'm going to write. I'm going to write the, the keywords names here. See, these are the keywords are available in Java. We have a five keywords in Java to handle the exception. So first one is the try, and the second one is the catch, and the third one is the th throw, and fourth one is the throws, and finally is the final keyword. So we have a five keywords to handle the exception. That is a Checked exception or unchecked exception or runtime exception. The unchecked exception or runtime exception, these are the same. So, checked exception, I am going to call this now one word checked exception and unchecked exception. If you get any checked or unchecked exception by using these five keywords, you can easily handle the exceptions. So, how we, uh, we are going to use the exception? So, See, now I'm doing the, uh, like uh, what we can say that check it. I'm giving you some example of the, like description of the as yes, check it exception. The class that extends the throwable class except the runtime exception. So I think uh, I covered somewhere else here. I covered this is the super class for. This is the super class for the all exception in Java. If the class is extended, if the class is extended, this class, this throwable class that comes under the checked exception. And if the class is extended, where we need to write here, we need to write the one code like if the class is extended this class if the class is extended this class is compared to the unchecked exception this class is extended if the class if the class is extended this throwable class the class is checked exception and this is the unchecked exception so 
when you extend the throwable class that comes under run time uh, checked exceptions example we cover the io exception sql these three comes under the checked exception these three are comes under the checked exceptions so unchecked exception already we covered about the, these two these are the two class i am giving the example for the unchecked exception error already we seen that these are the errors so we are unable to find we are we, we just ignore this part so we don't have a solution for this one so i am going to write the one x like where which scenario we will get an exception so what i am going to write here just delete the, this mapping so right i am going to use here see already i used the I have created the small program in that I did see uh, we took the class name as ex exception test this is the main method I am going to use the string str is equal to null so I am printing the str dot length so just look for the uh, exception uh, like this program I am compiling the program so we did not get any uh, like compilation error I am executing the program see what is showing me here so the issue is when you are executing any program it's showing the java dot line that null pointer exception so where it's showing the exception in thread main method the method name is the java dot line dot null pointer exception what is our class this is the class name exception test it's showing the exception and it's showing the uh, like line number also this is what we see in the null point exception by what if you get the null point exception how we need to handle it uh, we cover the, all those things we cover the three steps like five steps these are the five keywords available in java by using these keywords we can handle the exceptions this to one uh, this is i want to explain so when you are using the number format exception also we will get an like, like i am going to write the one more example for the number format what i am going to write here printing just i am writing java for all i am giving the string name but i am going to like converting where i am going to convert here is in i is equals in integer dot parse dot parse dot str if you are printing the i value just I am going to uh, we are going to see the one number format exception see what I am what I did here I am write the one string statement and we are converting into integers per line so we have we have we roll this thing and we are converted into integer format so let's see what is happening here so the compilation part is successful so I think just see our compilation we did not find any error at exception compilation is successfully done so now run our program when you are running the program we got the number format exception see the, i'll just look at the number format exception what happened is i think you are already fine with this is provide the full information about the what you did where you did all the information is here so when you using the this exception in thread main it's showing the java dot line that number format exception for input string this is our input we given the input and it's showing the a, a, a number format exception where it's showing the where you are converting we are converting into number parts into integer class so which line which we are converting except in the java 6 See, this is what is showing the full information about the number format exception. So just now we covered the we covered the null point exception or number format exception.
so i will explain in, in later this we covered just now and these three we will cover in next tutorial if you get this type of exception what we need to do so uh, i will explain the when we get in this kind of exception errors where we need to use how we need to use all those things i will cover uh, in in i what i'm going to explain in second tutorial uh, by using the five keywords so first there is this one by using five five keywords we will handle the exception. how we need to handle the exception this is what our next tutorial thanks for watching